Yeah, at a time when many companies are voicing support for protesters, the CEO of this well-known security company takes a different approach. Ken Gill, CPI's chief executive officer, writes in an email to a community leader on the subject of police brutality, quote, please spend your time in a more productive way. I challenge your statistics. A better use of time would be to focus on black-on-black -black crime and senseless killing of our young men by other young men. Have a great day. <laughs> Professional sports teams such as the Carolina Panthers and Charlotte Hornets responded by cutting all ties with the security company. <laughs> so did NC State's athletic department and the University of South Carolina. And so did Derwin Montgomery, a state lawmaker from Winston-Salem and CPI customer of 10 years. So for me, I'm, I'm, uh, I have had CPI security. It's been what I've had. And, you know, this morning I made my phone call to terminate my services uh, because uh, I saw the apology came, that came out. But in my opinion, I believe the CEO meant what he said. Um, and uh, I saw the apology and that's appreciated, but he meant exactly what he said. Montgomery says the comment about black-on-black -black crime is nothing more than racialized nuance and simply not accurate. Mr. Gill later issued an apology. Quote, I fully support the call for racial equality and justice in our community and our country. We at CPI take a great deal of pride in our inclusive culture and in protecting the families and diverse communities we serve. The apology wasn't enough to stop Montgomery from canceling his service with the company. He says there's a long history of protest and economic impact. And I think by seeing these big uh, organizations like the Panthers, the Hornets, and others withdraw and drop uh, CPI, I think is a statement not just to CPI, but to other companies that your words have to really mean what you say and you have to do uh, what, what you're saying you're committing to doing. If not, there will be an ec economic impact. Montgomery says protests and economic impact do have a long history, but he says this moment feels and looks different to him. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.